Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to tell you how to use the UK bus system using Google Map. Um, that's about it. Let's get into it. So today I want to tell you guys how to use the UK bus system basically using google map there is a lot of other apps that you could use for this but i have been using google Maps since i got to the uk and i'm more comfortable with it and i usually don't like to try on new things so much yeah so this is basically what you're going to see when you open your google map app if you don't have it you could download it and the first thing to do is to search for the destination or where you are going to so now i want to go to school so i'm just going to put in my school location you so i click search here and then i type University of Salford and then I search. So when I search, this is what comes out and the next thing to do is to click on direction. And when you do that, it's going to show you different ones. If you're driving, basically, this is what it's going to be. It's just, uh, yeah. So if you're driving, it's going to basically show you the routes to go to and Google map actually shows you where there are cameras, like cause there's like speed cameras and stuff. So if you exceed, um, if you exceed the speed limit, you could get a ticket or whatever. So Google map shows you all this. And if I had a, um, <laughs> a, I don't know if this is a motorcycle or a bicycle, whatever. Yeah. So basically it's a bike motorcycle. So if I had a motorcycle, well, I don't know. It's not just going to show me here. Yeah? So if I wanted to walk, it's also going to show me how long it would take me to get there, which is three hours, 29 minutes and this is the route so anytime it's going to show you like routes that you're going to walk on it's going to come in dots like this then if i had a bicycle and i wanted to cycle to school it's also going to show me like the best route and how long it would take me 56 minutes approximately now um <laughs> if i wanted to go by flight obviously there's no flight from my house to my school but yeah google map could have actually also showed me that now we are doing the uk bus system so it's going to um I'm going to click on the bus. So now there's different ones. Like there's going to be like different options that you could actually pick from. The recommended route will usually be at the top. Now, sometimes the recommended route is usually this option that has um, like, so this red thing here actually is um, like the train logo. So if this option comes out and you don't want to use the train at all, there's like, there's a way to go around it. So because I do the monthly bus ticket, sometimes I don't want to use the train. I just want to use the bus so I don't have to spend anything going to school or coming back from school. So sometimes the recommended routes would be like the routes with the train. So what you just do then is you go to options and then you remove train and possibly tram. So it's just only going to show me bus. Yeah, and then you notice everything is just going to be um, buses. So... Let's say this is what I want to do. Now, I'm just going to pick the first option. So, obviously, it starts from my current location till I get to school. So, it's telling me now that I need to walk to the closest bus stop, which is four minutes away, and then take a bus that has the number 20 on it because every bus is numbered. And it says where the bus is going to. So, see how this says 561 within the bus I'm going to get on is going to say 20 and then bolting when i do that i'm going to get to the interchange and when i get to the interchange i'll need to walk for two minutes then wait for up to nine minutes still at the interchange to get like the next bus to school which is the bus eight so i'm going to get bus eight and it's literally going to stop me just right in front of my school and i walk in one minute walk it's basically the same location so buses drop you at the bus stop yeah so um now, when I get on this bus, uh, I'm just going to zoom in. So let's say, yeah, so say I start the um, I start the trip, yeah. I'm just zooming in. So the blue, this b round blue stuff is me. So when I start moving, it's going to just keep following the track that I am going on. And yeah. The bus so this this big one and the tick line the tick blue line is the bus 20 if you notice it's a blue whatever like look at this side it's blue so i'm just going to be on that bus 
and I keep going. So if you notice on the Google map, it also shows you where there are traffic lights, literally shows you everything. And um, yeah, so this logo here, this logo here is actually a bus stop logo. It means that there's a bus stop there and on the routes where the bus is going, you see these white dots, that's also like a bus stop. So if you notice all these white, white dots just along the blue line, those are those are different bus stops that those are different bus stops that you're going to get to before your destination so the bus might likely stop here see after i pass this bus stop which is the bus stop before my final destination i need to press the um stop button on the bus so that the bus knows that someone is getting down on the next bus stop if you get what i mean so when i go on the bus i'm going to show you how it keeps moving and i'll tell you when i'm going to press the did and yeah so when i get to the interchange i'm going to walk and then go on the next bus so when I go on the next bus, the blue thing also keeps going on the bus. On um, it's actually a really long ride. So these are like all the bus stops before my final um, destination, and then this is my final destination where the green thing, where this green thing ends. So when I get to when I pass this bus stop, so when I pass this bus stop just by this A6, this bus stop, I'm going to press the stop on the bus so that the driver knows that I'm getting down at the next bus stop, which is this. If I don't press it, the driver is going to keep going because he's going to assume nobody is getting down there. And um, if I press it too late, he's going to stop me at the next bus stop, which is like in front. Um, yeah, so this is like the next bus stop here. So he's going to drop me down. Then I'll have to imagine walk back all the way. So you always have to press it before you get to the last stop you're getting to, you're getting down on i don't know if you get so a lot of people will feel like oh yeah i already use google map in nigeria i agree i understand that google map is the same everywhere but in nigeria we don't have bus systems that work like this which are imputed in the integrated in the google map so you might still need to like figure out how to get around it so i'm just going to show you guys what the bus stops look like and yeah so guys i'm doing the four minutes walk to the bus stop please don't mind that i'm crying <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm doing it for me. It's to the bus stop, and um, when I get to the bus stop, I'll show you what it looks like. And when I get on the bus, I'll show you like what to do on the app, basically. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it's freezing, really, I swear. <laughs> so, if you notice the blue thing is moving because I am moving, I am walking to the bus stop. Yeah, so that's how you know that you're on the right track. If you're moving and it's not going on the um dotted blue stuff, it's going on the other way, then you know you're going the wrong way. So you obviously have to turn around and start going in the opposite direction, if you get what I mean. So that's just me walking to the bus stop. So I'm now at the um, bus stop and literally this is how to identify a bus stop in the UK. It has like this pole there. And then this shed light thing, but what you should know is that not all the buses have this shed light thing, so don't always look out for this um shed light thing. And then um so on each bus stop it has like the different times that the buses are gonna move. It has like it lets you know what bus is gonna come at a particular time and stuff like that. So this is just basically it. Um you can sit if you want and yeah, and then each bus stop tells you the buses are past that that will stop at that bus stop so there are three buses that will stop at this particular bus stop so everywhere you see this pole with this thing if you look at the other side i don't know it's not very visible but there's like a pole there and there's no shed shed on that side and also like this bus stop now there is no um shed or cover it just has the pole which lets you know that that's a bus stop so now i have gotten on the bus and remember i said the blue thing there is me so watch how it moves while the bus is moving because obviously i'm in the bus and the bus is moving so if you notice when it stops that's a bus stop and the bus is just probably picking people or dropping people off so if someone doesn't press the stop button and there's no one at the bus stop the driver is going to go past the bus stop but if there is someone at the bus stop and he stops the driver the driver is going to stop regardless of whether someone is getting down or not and if there's no one at the bus stop and um the someone presses the bus from inside the bus the driver is going to stop at the bus stop if you get what i mean so this is basically just me on the bus moving and this is how you know that you're obviously on the right bus and on the right track so now we're getting to the last bus stop before my final destination where i get off so i need to be more alert and 
once we get past that bus stop i need to press the stop button so that the driver knows that someone is getting down on the next bus stop if you don't press it like i said he's going to go past that bus stop so now i'm at the interchange and i want to take a bus that is going to take me right straight to my school um so i want to go on bus eight which is going to shoot hill so the bus is going to have the number eight and then shoot hill written on it just like i said earlier and if you notice it says white platform so when i get to the interchange i'm going to look for white platform i'm actually now at the interchange and i am waiting for my bus so i think i got here like 10 minutes earlier it's usually always advisable to get here earlier because the bus like actually doesn't wait for you there's other buses going towards my school but they take me longer to get to school if i use this bus so i might as well just wait for like the bus in like five minutes so yeah soon so this is both an interchange uh, most cities have an interchange which is like a central place that almost all the buses meet it's almost like the bus stops it has like the different times that you can take which bus from like a particular platform or stand it has like the screen there that tells you what time that's like gives you life update on what time the bus will come and it's just basically what it looks like i'm taking my bus from platform y which is what google Maps showed me so that's why i'm waiting here to get my bus the bus is here now but we need to wait for the driver to open the bus door before we can go in and because I have a bus pass, I just go in and I scan it. I don't need to buy a ticket, but if I didn't have a bus pass, I would tell the driver where I'm going to and he would calculate how much it would cost me and I could pay with my card or I could pay with cash, whichever I have. So that's about it, guys. That's how to use the bus um, in the UK. I hope it's helpful to you and remember to like, share, subscribe and just the usual. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.